are now back in the studio, having shown you the type of crime which occurs all too frequently in London, keeping a highly organized police force constantly employed. But now, by way of contrast, we're taking you over to a little village on the coast. In the sleepy little hamlet of Turnbottom Round, there are no criminals. For years now, not a single conviction has been recorded, not even a name in the charge book. This unique record has caused Turnbottom Round to be envied throughout the south of England as the village without crime. The police station occupies an old watchtower and is probably the least used building in the neighborhood. Ladies and gentlemen, the police station turn bottom round. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the police station of the village without crime. We have with us as an audience, the squire and all the local celebrities. The absence of crime in this happy village is entirely due to the efficient and indefatigable efforts of the head of the local police force. Sergeant Dudfoot. <laughs> Sergeant Dudfoot. Oh, is it me? Oh. Good evening, everybody. Oh, a little further back and not quite so loud, please. Oh, actually, here's the farther back, yes. Is it true you've had no crime in this village no, for ten years? No, no, that's my bit. Oh, is it? Oh. oh, I'm sorry, that's his bit. Yes. Is it true that you've had no crime in this village for ten years? Oh, actually, we're starting again. Uh, Yes, that is true. And how long exactly is it since you last had a crime? Ten years, five weeks, four days. Very interesting. And how long have you been in charge of this police station? Ten years, five weeks, four days. I can hardly believe it. Well, that's what it says here. Very commendable, Sergeant. A record like yours deserves a reward. Hey, where is it? I have merely done my duty. I do not expect any reward. I say, I don't remember approving that line. <clears throat> uh, when you say there has been no crime, you mean no big crime. I mean none, either big or little. What about minor offences, such as uh, pilfering or poaching? There has been no poaching in this village for ten years, five weeks, four days. Amazing record, Sergeant. Yes, I haven't seen a poacher for the last... Since you've been here, definitely an achievement, Sergeant. I don't suppose there's another country area in England without at least one local poacher. And for an agricultural district like Turnbotham Round, never to have known a case of poaching in ten years, well, all I can say is, it says a great deal for the control you exercise over the villagers. Now, look what you've done. You made us miss the broadcast. It will not be narky. Yes, it would be more narky if he missed his dinner tomorrow. Get up, you fool. Don't you know they're making a broadcast in there? Keep it on purpose. Oh, get some light in here. Well, that's better. If we hurry, we'll just make it. He's still talking. I thought you said you'd remember the broadcast. No, I didn't. I said I'd remember to remind you about the broadcast. Well, why didn't you? Because I forgot. Because you forgot. You always forget. Come on. All right, wait for me. I've set an example to the police all over the world. Ah, Sergeant Dudford's staff have just returned from their lonely beats. Two splendid fellows. One is a fine, youthful figure of a policeman, and the other is oh, just... Oh, they don't want to hear about him. Sorry, we're late, Sarge. Good evening, Constable Brown. So you too have helped to keep this village free from crime. No, 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 not so loud, and stand farther back. <laughs> this village must be very proud of you. Well, my girl Emily says no, I'm a... My girl Emily. There's a nice thing to say in a broadcast. Well, they can't make anything rude out of that, can they? <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you been with the force? Twelve months next muck spreading. What do you mean, muck spreading? It says April. Well, that is muck spreading. Oh, you know, why don't they stick to the script? I mean, what do you think this is, a gardening talk? And you've never been called upon to arrest even a drunk. Oh, no. No drunks here. <laughs> Uh, you must tell the choir boys that the street's not the proper place to practice. Yes, Sergeant. And how about you, Constable Lairwood? Uh, Harbottle. Basically, I'm Harbottle, ah, yes. You control the traffic. And you've never even known a case of speeding. No fear. I'd as soon have the bracelets on him if I had. Oh, that must be the doctor on an urgent case. Urgent? Yeah, probably going to Mrs. Ockham. She always needs it to the last minute. Yeah. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I must apologize for this old fool. If ever he opens his mouth, he always sticks his foot in it. He comes butting in, he's got no right here at all. And what's more... You're wasting I... your time, sir. You've been faded out. Well, what about these other three pages? It's all your fault. You're... Oh, I'm sorry this happened, Sergeant. You were doing splendidly. Oh, well, you know how it is. The BBC always fade out the best items. Good night, Sergeant. Good night. The least I can do is to thank you for your trouble. Being a police officer, of course, you can't accept a fee. Oh, does that come under this? Oh, what a pity. But uh, if there's any local charity for which you'd like a contribution... Well, we have the uh, police outing fund, sir. I think it's going to be rather difficult to get that in. Oh, no, 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 it isn't. There we are. Uh, good, good night, Sergeant. Uh, good night. Uh, uh, come and say good night to the gentleman. Come on, come on. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
them yet. Got plenty for you this morning, Sarge. Have you? Yeah. Well, then wait for their money. Shove them in next door. <coughs> Hello, Ernie. How's it, Missy? Very nice, thanks. The sergeant says I have to bring his post here. What, all that lot? Yeah. Oh, what's he been up to? Uh. <coughs> Coming out tonight, Emily. Oh, I can't, honey. I've got a date. Yeah, not with Harry Pringle, the fish boy. Why, what have you got on Harry? Oh, nothing. And I thought a girl like you would aim a bit higher than a common eel skinner. Well, at least he does take me to the pictures. Pictures? Then what's the matter with you? You go there and pass out at Robert Taylor and Clark Gable. Takes you a couple of weeks to get used to me again. Oh, you're just jealous because Harry's got a motorbike and you haven't. Huh, motorbike? I wouldn't take one of my girls out on a motorbike, bumping up and down on the pillion, getting disfigured for life. Don't you believe it, big boy? The back of a motorbike's okay by little Emily. Oh, I suppose you wouldn't come out in my car. Your car? Well, you haven't got a car. It belongs to the police. Anyway, you're afraid to take me out in it. Says who? Says me. Well, you'll be at the crossways at half past five tonight and we'll see. Well, I might. Now you bought me the sweets. Come on, honey bunch. Eh? Here, here. Here, 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 here. Don't them people all over the broken biscuits. Who are they for? The governor? Oh, I said, good gracious, all those for me. Perhaps they're Christmas cards. What, in November? It's your fun mail after your broadcast. Oh, is it? How do you know? Well, I opened one or two. Yeah. You opened one or two? Do you know that's an offence? Yes, and so was your broadcast. Yeah. Here, lummy. What's all that lot? Oh, my fan letters. Hmm. Any for me? Here, look, it's one with OHMS on it. Ah, that'll be from the BBC. Want to fix up another broadcast? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. We your broadcast. Your failure to effect a single arrest for the past ten years, five weeks, four days, would strongly suggest that the police station in your area is unnecessary. Hmm. An investigation will shortly be made to decide whether to transfer you to another district or to retire you and your staff from the force altogether. Yours faithfully, John Crunch, your chief constable. Hmm. Oh, dear. Transferred or retired. It's a bit thick. Oh, I don't want to retire. At least not till I'm an old man. I mean, you're ten years older than the pyramids now, to shut up. Nah, it's all your fault. You and your blooming broadcast. Well, there's gratitude for you. After me making him into a policeman. Well, you had to when his nephew resigned. Uh, resigned? I like that. You mean did a bunk with a sports fund? Yes, and you kept his name on the payroll. That's right. And if I hadn't have come in, he wouldn't have had any old bottle of show. Yeah, and you wouldn't be able to stick to half his wages. That's commission. I mean, you should talk. What about all that petrol you've been using, taking your girl out? Well, what about it? It's not yours. It's police petrol. That's got nothing at all to do with it. It's the principle of the thing I'm talking oh. about. There's no use fighting amongst ourselves. What are we going to do about this letter? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do about it. If the chief wants arrest, he's going to have arrests. We've got to find some crime, that's all. Let me see. Uh... Here. I know where there's some crime. Where? In the news of the world. It... I mean, we can't wait till Sunday. Hey, what about Mrs. Clifford? Has she paid her dog license? Well, she has, in a way. What do you mean, she has, in a way? Well, uh, she tossed me double or quits, and uh, I lost. Oh. Well, we can get her for gambling. Oh, we can't do that. She's one of my best customers. Fox the dog biscuits in the Bob Martins every Friday. Well, we're going to arrest someone, whether we offend them or not. What about poaching? No. No. <laughs> You know, Johnny really hasn't got a car. He's only got a bike.
You're exceeding the speed limit. Don't talk rot. Yeah. Oh, yes, you were. All right. How much do you reckon I was doing then? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, all in good time. Albert! Albert! What was this man doing? Uh, 25 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Minutes. Those are seconds. Oh, yes. I was looking at the wrong end. What do you measure? 25 seconds. So do I. <clears throat> you did the measured furlong in 25 seconds. What of it? That's only 20 miles an hour. Yeah. 20 miles. Oh, yes, but uh, 20 miles each. You see, the three of us. That makes it 60. 60? What on earth are you dribbling about? 25 seconds, one furlong. Work it out for yourself and see. Oh, that's easy. Oh, yeah. right. You got a pencil? Oh, I suppose you yeah. think we can't do it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, there you are. Now, let me see now. What is it? Uh, 220 yards hmm? multiplied by 8. Yeah, and not on one, my bonnet. All right, all right. We're only doing it to oblige you. Yes, we're courtesy cops. Yes. <laughs> 220 yards multiplied by 8, that's uh, 1,760. Now divide that by 25 seconds. Hey, the thing to do is to reduce it to hours. Yeah. I mean, how can you reduce 25 seconds to hours? Listen, how long do you expect me to wait here? You wait till we've finished. You ask for it, and you're going to get it. Yeah, I've done it. Have you? Yeah. Good. 25 minus 220 divided by 60. Well, according to this, he hasn't got it here yet. Here, there it is. 1,760 divided by 25 gives us 70.4. Yeah, 70.4? Yeah. Why, well, it's gone up. Well, that's nearly 80 miles an hour. Oh, oh. right. Yes. Ask him for his license. I want to see your license. I haven't got a license. Huh? I said I haven't got a license. He hasn't got a license. Ask him for his insurance. Well, let me see your insurance certificate. I'm, I'm not insured. What, do you mean you haven't got a license or an insurance? No. He hasn't got a license or an insurance. Oh. Well, it's a very lucky thing for you, young man. You've just saved your bait. Do you, do you mean I can go? Well, I can't endorse your license if you haven't got one, can I? Go on, hop it. But next time, be sure you bring one with you. Yeah. Well, if you ask me, it's a waste of time. Oh, well, who's wasting the time? Only ten minutes to work out a simple little sum like that. Well, it isn't our fault, it's a post. Well, what's the matter with them? Too clean? No, they're 220 yards apart. Well, what's that got to do with it? Look, there's 60 seconds in a minute. 60 into 220 won't go. That's right. Well, if we made it 240, it's four. Four what? Four times a minute. Oh. That seems very often, doesn't it? Hmm? Oh, no, you don't understand. Look, if we move that post a bit this way, it's easy to divide. Yeah. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> oh. God, now, put some beef in it. I had put beef in it. Pull, oh. pull, 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 pull. Oh. There you are. There it is. Now, then, we'll step it out. 20 yards. And you bring the post with you. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, well. sounds like another car coming. All right, well, no arguments this time. We'll all agree to do it 60. Right. Now, run up the road and then drop your handkerchief. Hey, I haven't got a handkerchief. Well, drop your sleeve or whatever you use. Where can I put this? Well, put it anywhere. Uh, stick it here. Stick it there. Well, stick it here. Uh, well, stick it... Uh, never mind, hold it. Get your watch, Larry. What the devil's the meaning of this? Well, uh, first of all, have you got a license? Of course I've got a license. You have? Then you're for it, my lad. You were doing 60 miles an hour. I was doing what? Uh, 60. Absolute nonsense. Ah, what was this man doing? 60. 60. Uh, you have the evidence to tell me that I was doing... Si What's that? Uh, oh, a policeman. Yes. Well, I must be going mad or something. What's he doing with that thing? That? Ha-ha, <laughs> that's evidence. Evidence. Uh, quiet, quiet. Now, you say truly... Uh, uh, truly... Truly rubbish. Yes, that's right. Say that. Truly rubbish. As I thought. Drunk as well. All right, boys, and that's it. What? I warn you, anything you say will only make it worse for you. That's the right. handcuffs are uh, uh, Leave it to me. Uh, hey! Uh, hey! Stop throttling my customer, oh. will you? Oh, I see. I oh. see. Resisting arrest, eh? Hey. All right, boys. <laughs> Leave me. Now, go on. Get in and drive into the station. Right, folks. I'll tell you something. What? He wasn't going very fast at all. Well, fast or slow, it doesn't matter. The law's the law. I know. Go on. Ah, we've got a case at last. You search him? Yep. One pocketbook, one watch, one penknife and no money. Yeah. 
One pen knife and no what? And no money. Come on, turn out your pockets. Oh, all right. One pen knife and 15 bob. I mean, will you never learn to be honest? He's as much our prisoner as yours. Yeah, I'll find Bob Beach. Now, let's see what his name is. <coughs> you got anything inside? <coughs> Pinch the chief constable, that's all. Oh, that's a niche, ain't it? Yeah, we've got to get him out of that cell before he comes to. Now, when he wakes up, we know anything about this. We'll pretend we're surprised he's here. We'll ask him how he's got it. I hope he hit something with his car. Tell him there's been an accident. Yes, and when he finds out there hasn't been an accident, there will be one. Don't be silly. After a clout on the head like that, he won't know what's happened. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to have to fix the accident. Right. jail for this. He's delirious. Delirious? Why, I... <laughs> take, take it easy, sir. You've had an accident. What are you talking about? You assaulted me. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, you, you, you've had an accident, sir. Oh, an accident, sir. Uh, yes. yes. You were driving your car, and you suddenly left the road, went smack through the shop next door. You impudent scoundrel. Well, if you don't believe us, come out and have a look. Yes, yes, yes. Come and have a look, sir. Come and have a look. You assaulted me on the high road. Oh, well, we did, sir. Oh, nothing of the kind. Why, well, we haven't been out of the house all day, sir, really. You held me up and accused me of speeding, and you know it. Hallucination. Yes, that's what it is, sir. Hallucination. Very common after an accident. What? Especially a nasty one like this. Look. What have you done to my car? Keep calm, sir. Keep calm. It'll all come back to you. Come back. It hasn't gone away from me yet. You stopped me on the high road for speeding, and what's more, you accused me of being drunk. Yeah, oh, fewer than hallucinations, sir. Yes, hallucination. Yes, hallucination. Uh, that's right. Are you trying to tell me that I drove down this road and for no reason at all crashed my car into this shop? Exactly, sir. Yes. I refuse to believe such outrageous nonsense. Oh, excuse me, but it's perfectly true. What? I was in the saddler's shop down the road and saw the whole thing. You did? Who's this? Yeah. Oh, this is the squire. Do you mean to tell me you substantiate this man's story? Definitely. Well, you come with me. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. If there's anything in this outrageous story, how on earth do you explain this bump? Well, uh, might I suggest, sir, that you hit your head on the windscreen? Good heavens, man, I can't hit the windscreen with the back of my head. Oh, maybe you was in reverse. Oh. Albert Brown, you can't do this to me. I've been waiting at the crossways over half an hour. Shut up, this is the chief constable. Oh, I didn't know you had a friend. Well, if you told me, I'd have brought Aggie. Who is this woman? This is Emily, sir. What's she doing here? She's my bird, sir. You what? I mean, sir, she's his bit. Uh, she's the parlour maid at the manor. Come on, Emily, run along. We're very busy. Yes, sir, look at that. All right, just a minute, ma'am. What is all this about? Uh, oh, Constable Brown wants to know if he can go to the pictures. Certainly, Constable Brown can go to the pictures. Oh, thanks, Chief. You wouldn't like to go too, would you? No, I went last Wednesday. And what about you? No, I prefer the book by the fire. Oh, you do? Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Goodbye, what's your name? Abyssinia. Good night. Ah, bright little girl, isn't she? <laughs> well, Chief, what about a little drink? Eh? Oh, of course, I'm sorry, they're not open yet. I'll take the jug round the side door. Mrs. Davis will let me have it. What? Yes, yeah, she always does. Yeah, that's a good idea. Would you prefer old and mild, or would you like bitter? I think you'd better take the large jug. Yes. Stay where you are. When I heard your broadcast, I expected to find it dead of incompetence, but I never thought it would be as bad as this. Letting a constable go to the pictures with a girl, getting drinks out of ours. Is that the way to run a police station? You call this a police force? How old are you? Forty-two. Look more like 82 to me. Oh, that's the life he's led. No, it isn't. It's through seeing it what done it. Seeing what? The ghost. 
What ghost? The ghost of the headless horseman, oh. driving hers. Oh, horrible it was. I lost my ear, and my teeth fell out all in the night. Ah, uh, don't take any notice of him. He has hallucinations too. But it's true. Ah, true. Yes, and I'll tell you what's more, I know other people... That's what I want in confirmation. This place is run by a pack of idiots, I've got it. The most inefficient and disorganized uh, rabble that ever had the audacity to call itself a police force. Apparently, you consider blundering incompetence, staring illegality, and outrageous discourtesy to be the normal manifestations of a policeman's duty. You'll hear more of this. Oh, goodbye, you've got some Goodbye. Thank you for calling. Don't worry, we'll look after everything. Yes. <coughs> well, go on, move along, move along. There's nothing to see. Right, Now you've offended him. What do you want to tell him a silly, idiotic, daft story like that for? Headless horseman. Well, there is an headless horseman. Yeah. You ask him down in the village. Have you seen it? No. Well, what do you want to tell him that yarn about your teeth topping out for? Well, I had to tell him something, otherwise he'd have gone looking up my birth certificate. What, the doomsday book? Well, we'd better start packing. Packing? Well, we might as well be ready for the boot when it does come. What, are we leaving the dear old home? Yes, we're going to be kicked out into the dear old gutter. That looks so good, does it? Oh, it can't go out like that. Yeah. You know, if only we could do something sensational, get the Daily Express behind us, they wouldn't dare sack us. Wait, I tell you what. What? Couldn't you arrest someone for speeding? Listen, I'm liable to be arrested for murder. What do you think we've been doing? And look where it's got us. What we've got to do is to arrest some famous criminal. What criminals are there? Yeah. A Guy Fox. Oh, lovely Guy Fox. He's dead. He wasn't a criminal. He invented fireworks. Well, there must have been some crime here sometime or another. Haven't we got any records? We've got the old charge books down the cellar. Well, let's go and have a look at those. All right. Bring your bullseye with you. Here, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to tidy it up tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. What's the good of putting off till tomorrow what we shan't be here to see? Well, where are your books? Here they are. Okay. Oh, yes. Here they are. Uh, uh. Let's try this one, shall we? Yes. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 1753. Well, that's going back a bit, isn't it? Yes, huh? yes, yes. Ah, oh, yeah, here's a crime. Highway robbery. Yes. Oh, that's no good. That's legal now. Is it? Yes. Daniel Gould was convicted of sheep stealing. Yeah, what did he get? Was sentenced to be hurdled, hanged, drawn, and quartered. Blimey. Oh, yes. Yeah, George Conachy did slay, kill, and willfully murder his wife by throwing her off a cliff. What did they do to him? He was fined four and sixpence. That don't seem right, do it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. Fourteen and sixpence. Yes, where is it? Larceny, piracy, treason. Resisting the press gang, whistling in church. I mean, these are no good to us. Have you got some other books somewhere else? You know, something on uh, on up-to-date crime? Well, I've got some Sexton Blakes in the shop library. You have? Yes. Well, why don't you say so instead of wasting our time down here? Come on, let's go and have a look at them. Well, they might give us an idea, if nothing else. Yes. Huh? Yes, you've got a catch yeah. Oh, good evening. Good evening, Sergeant. Anything wrong? Well, yes, sir. In a way, you see, it's like this, sir. My brother Alfred, he's a lighthouse keeper. And this morning he had to go off on his month's duty in the lighthouse, see? Yes, yes, I see. And he didn't want to go. And why didn't he want to go? Go on, I'll buy it. Why didn't he want to go? Because of our poor old grandmother. She's been ailing for years now, poor soul. And now she's hoping at death's door. But as I says to Alf, Duty is duty, and the lighthouse must be lit. Oh, yes, of course. Then suddenly I get an idea. How about a signal, I says to Alf? Yes. What did Alf say? Alf says if you could do that, I'd be easy in my mind. All right, I says. Uh, you says. I says, I'll hang up a light where you can see it from the lighthouse. And while that there light's still burning, you'll know our gun is still with us. Yes, that's a good idea. So I thought maybe you wouldn't mind if I put it up on top of the tower here so as Alf can see it, this being the highest point hereabouts. Oh, by all means. Why, if anything happened to the old lady, I, uh, I'd never forgive myself. Uh, up the stairs till you come to the top. Thank you, Sergeant. Yeah. 
<laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm thinking about his poor old grandmother. Out there alone in a lighthouse. <laughs> listen, why don't you listen, you old fool? His grandmother's not in the lighthouse. She's hovering round, round death's door. And he's putting that light up there so his brother will know that his grandma's light's not been put out. <laughs> I don't know how I can thank you for this, Sergeant. Oh, well, that's all right. I mean, anything in the cause of charity. Charity? Yes, here's the box. <laughs> oh, uh, there's, uh, there's no need for you to give anything. Half a crown. <laughs> Yes, we'd have done it for nothing, you know. Uh, that's all right. Good night, Sergeant. Good night. I was thinking about his poor old granny. And you owe me one and sevens. Uh, do I? Well, yeah. I imagine you've got it. Listen, so we're going to look at your sex and place. Oh, come on. Where's the crime section? Here you are. Here it is. All right. Don't this Desmond or the mystery of the bloodstained sheet. Oh, uh, that's hot one, that is. You yeah. want to leave page 34 where he's alone with her in the office. Yeah. In the what? In the office. Office? Yeah. You mean office? No, I don't. I mean office. Yeah. In the oasis. Oh. That means you had a date with her. Dauntless Desmond. Should be Dirty Dick. While you've been playing footy footy at the pictures, we've reached a crisis. Ah, oh, you'd reached that before I went out. Hey, do you realise, my boy, if we don't find some crime before tomorrow, we're out? Well, you've got a whole shelf full of crime there. There you are, look, Phil the body snatcher, Sam the smuggler cop. Smuggling? Now there's your crime. Smuggling? Yeah, all we're going to do is to catch some smugglers. Oh, grand. Where do we find the smugglers? Oh, we don't find them. We stage a smuggle. We put a keg of brandy on the beach, then we find it with witnesses. Well, what good does that do us? Oh, then they'll have to keep us here until we find the smugglers. Alison, how can we find smugglers if there aren't any? Well, we haven't got any brandy either. Well, here, here, I've got some brandy. Huh? What are you doing with brandy? Well, I keep it in case I get too taken. Toothache. The only thing you're likely to get is gummy. Well, come on. Don't waste time. Don't get the brandy. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's in charge here? You were, but you got the bullet. I got nothing of the kind. The bullet may be on the way, but until it actually lands, you'll take your orders from me. And I'm having nothing at all to do with it. It's not safe. Well, please yourself. Come on, Jerry. We want to keep our jobs. Uh, hey, do you mean to tell me you're going to defy me and go through with it? Certainly. Oh, well, what about me? Well, you can help if you like. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, what do I do? All we do is we put the keg of brandy on the beach, then go for a witness. Uh, who puts the keg of brandy on the beach? You and Harbottle. I, I suppose you go and get the witness. Yes, yeah, all right, isn't it? No, it isn't all right. You'll put the brandy on the beach and I'll go and get the witness. Perhaps it was the wind. Oh, 
Well, that wasn't the win anyway. No, that's someone at the door. Help! Well, go on, let her in. You do it. You're in charge. I want to open that door. Of me? Uh, let's close in shop act. Hey, you can't be shop act in an emergency like this. Stop. Perhaps she's gone home. Don't be ridiculous. She wouldn't get up a row like that and go home. Maybe she's come to the wrong house. Well, open the door and have a look. Hey, why me? Well, who opened them? How do 
I know. That's their ghost doors. <gasps> ghost doors. I'll show you where their ghosts are not. Come on, Oxy. Oh. Come on. Come on, open up in the name of the law. Come on, you're all the worse for me if you don't. Well, what are you standing there for? I don't be afraid of. Look, I'll tell you what we'll do. You part the one door, and I'll part the door. Oh, 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 Gone through the other side. Don't be ridiculous. Why, this is a solid wall. Hey, do you know where we are? No. This is the squire's garage. Is it? Yeah, let's knock him up and tell him. Tell him what? We're in his garage. Yeah, well, that's a bright idea, isn't it? Well, let's examine these walls properly. been trying to get you for half an hour. Where have you been? Well, as uh, a matter of fact, we've been out on a job. <coughs> this is what sort of a job? Tell him about the headless horseman. You think I should? Of course, we've all seen it. Uh, uh, you remember that story that Constable Harbottle told you about the ghost that made his teeth off out? Yes. 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 It's all your fault, that is. Uh, yes, I'm listening, Chief. I'm listening. Then stop giving me all this preposterous bilge about ghosts. Do you realize there's smuggling going on in your district? Smuggling? Oh, yes, we know all about that. Our witness must have been talking. Oh, we've got all the evidence, a whole kegful. Kegful? We've just been informed that whole boatloads have been smuggled in. Boatloads? Well, there must be real smugglers then. I, I mean others. Now listen. One of His Majesty's revenue cutters in mid-channel has observed a light in the neighborhood of Turnbottom Round. Yes. They believe this light's being used as a staring light for smugglers. Oh. Oh dear. Albert, take this down. <coughs> from the east side of Drake Seat to a point due north, from Shoe Hill off Turn Bottom Round, by northeast, west, by north. Aye, aye, chap. Have you got all that? And it's spell aye, aye. Yeah, listen, Albert, you get the ordnance map. This is our big chance. If only we can spot that light and make an arrest, then he can't sack us. You get the compass. Yeah, yeah. Well, no telling where this will lead to. Might get us promotion. Yeah, here's a compass. Right. Ten minutes fast. Well, that's all right. Doesn't matter. We can... What do you mean it's ten minutes fast? How can we find where we are with a thing like that? It's easy. You point the north to the northwest, then the northeast gives you south. See? Yeah, that's all right, but suppose we want to go north. Give me those the bearings, I'll find it. Oh, all right, go on then. Oh, look, there's the channel. Well, there's a the north rock, isn't it, there? Yeah, oh. there's the knock. Now, if we bring a line from there, that should Leave be... Leave them Yes. Oh, evening. Can I take my lamp down now, Sergeant? Uh, down? Why, uh, is Joe's grandmother... Uh... Here. Oh. <sighs> She's much better now. Yeah. Well, I'm glad about that anyway. Well, you can find your own way up, can't you? We're very busy just now. All right, I'll get them, Sergeant. Who's that? Coast Guard. I've never seen him round here before. What's he want? Well, when you were out courting, he came out here and told us that the, the, the spell is... What? Oh, yeah, you mind your own business. Go on, get on with your bearings. You found that light yet? Well, give us a chance of any just down Drake's seat. Oh. oh, here we are. Uh, north by Point East. That brings us here. Uh, north east by Shoe Rock, that brings us here. Yes, well, what does it say where the lines intersect? Hmm. It's just a police station. Police station? Ha! <laughs> well, that's ridiculous, isn't it? 
with the snow lamp hanging. Oh. Yeah. Didn't that bloke say something about fetching down a lamp? That's right. Yes, that's right. Ah, oh, but still, that's nothing at all to do with it. That's for the fellow on the lighthouse. His grandmother's ill, you see. And as long as he can see that light, then he knows his grandmother hasn't started to burn. I mean, his grandmother hasn't put a light... Well, it's a signal for his grandmother, anyway. Well, it sounds fishy to me, though. I'll tell you, Don't you start. Yeah, whose grandmother is she? It's his brother Joe's grandmother. Well, who's Joe? Joe's the fellow on the lighthouse. Yeah, I want to tell you something. You I... won't tell us anything. Listen, it's easy enough to check up. All we've got to do is to find out whether his brother Joe really keeps the lighthouse. Well, I don't want to tell you what I was going to tell you, Nancy. Oh, all right, peevish. Come on, what is it? Well, I... I've lived here 60 years and I've never seen a lighthouse. No, neither have I. You haven't? Well, why didn't you tell me that when we let him put the light up instead of crying your eyes out? I'm oh, sorry for his poor old granny. Sorry for his granny. If he hasn't got a lighthouse, how can he have a granny? Well, I've got a granny, but I've never had a lighthouse. Oh. What shall we do? It's all right. Leave it to me. I'll deal with him. Good night, all. Good night. Here, I thought you were going to deal with him. Well, what do you expect me to do? Arrest him? Of course. Well, let everybody know that the light was on top of our police station. Well, that's a bright idea. Well, what are we going to do? Well, now we know how it's worked, we can plant the light on someone else. Look, look Bring that line down here, you see, so that it puts the light on top of the pub. Whoa! Hmm. It's a pebble. I wonder what they want to wrap it up for. Uh, uh, give me that. There may be a message on it. Well, I like that. Fred Jackson Draper, turn bottom round. Let me Jackson advertising again. Well, that window's gonna cost him one or sixpence anyway. Yeah, wait a minute. There's something on the other side. Huh? Keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. Dead men tell no tales. You have been warned. What's that? Keep your nose out of things that don't concern you. Dead men tell... Oh, well, well, what does that mean? It couldn't be much plainer, could it? Yeah. Well, it's not just they can't take nose with it. We're the police. Sorry, what could they do? Supposing that pebble had been a bomb, eh? They don't talk nonsense. This is England. They don't throw bombs here. Shh. What is it? Can you hear a ticking sound? No. I can. It's the clock. What's the matter with you, Joe? Well, it can't be the clock. It's got no works. Well, what is it? Bombs. I can only hear it faintly now. It sounds really near to me. Oh, I think it's in here. I can hear it now. It's somewhere about here. It's on you. I think it's on you. Saw me do it. Hey, hey watches. Where'd you get these? Oh, I picked that parcel up in the garage. Ah, Swiss watches. Yeah, I say, there'd be a duty on these. Supposing they were smuggled uh, as well. What, you mean the hearse isn't a ghost after all? I'll tell you something now, else. Don't you start. Yeah, I'm going to find out where that hearse has gone. There's far too much disappearing around here. First the keg, then the hearse. Well, they only want him to disappear and we'd all be happy. Yes, but I wonder oh, if... Ah, shut did... up. Oh, I didn't want to hear about the lighthouse, did you? Why don't I keep my secret to myself? <laughs> well, I don't suppose we've missed anything. It's about the earth. The legend says it has something to do with smuggling. Eh? Hey? What's that? It tells you how it was done and where they came from. Well, what is the legend? It won't tell you. Oh, come on, cough it up. <coughs> it's in rhyme. All right. When the tide runs low in the Devil's Cove, and the headless horseman is seen above, he drives along with his wild hello, lick at his spit, lick at his spit. Lick at his spit, lick at his spit. Oh, yeah, I put that bit in because I forgot the last line. Well, try and remember it. Very likely it contains the clue to the whole thing. Oh, it's no good. That's why I put the spit in. Oh. Here, would it be as he drives along with a wild hello and into the garage the whole lot go? Yeah. Into the garage. You might as well say they go in the garage because they couldn't stop flippity flop, flippity flop. No, that's not it. Yeah. Listen, listen, anybody knows this last line? Yes, there's one man. Who? My father. Who? My father. Your father? Yes. Hey, he's not the fellow that drives the hearse, is he? No. Well, what good would your father be to us anyway? Well, we can get in communication with him. What do you mean, by rapping on the table? No, rapping on his door. Yeah. You don't mean to tell me you've got a father living? Yes. Well, what do they hold the old fellow together with? Why? Where, where is this ancient Britain? Up along Turnbottom West. Oh, I take it, sir. 
<laughs> Come on, we're going to meet Adam. I'm Sergeant Dudford of the local police. Oh, a copper, eh? Well, what's the young rascal been up to this time? Breaking windows again? Breaking windows? <laughs> what, at his age? Takes him all his time to break the bread to put in his milk. Well, what do you want to wake me up at this time of the night for? Hey? Eh? Well, it's like this, Dad. No, Is you it? shut up. I'll tell him. You see, it's like this, Dad. We want your advice. Yes, we want to know the last line of an old rhyme. Oh, I know lots of old rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll bet you do. But it's not one of those. Now, listen. When the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove, and the headless horseman seen above, as he drives along with a wild hello, uh, something, 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 oh. Now, do you remember it? Yes, I remember it. Uh, when the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove, and the headless horseman is seen above, he drives along with his wild hello. Uh... Yes? What's last line? Why, you silly old, uh, <coughs> you old gentleman, that's what we come to you for. Oh, come on, Daddy, try and think. No, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me, I've got it on the tip of my tongue. Well, all right, stick your tongue out, let's have a look at it. Uh, something, 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 oh, he drives along with his wild hello. Yeah, yeah, we've had all that. What we want is the something, 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 oh. Oh. Uh, oh, look, listen, take your mind back. Forget all about what happened lately. Don't worry about balaclava. As he drives along with a wild hello. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Now, as the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove, and the headless horseman is seen above, he drives along with his wild hello. That's the time when the smugglers go out in their little boats to the schooner and bring back the kegs of brandy and rum and put them in the devil's cave below. See? See what? That's the last line. It doesn't even rhyme. Oh, yes, it does. Now, listen. As he drives along with his wild hello, that's the time when the smugglers go out in their little boats to the schooner and bring back the kegs of brandy and rum and put them in the devil's cave below. See? Yes. Is that the line you couldn't remember? That's right. Oh, blimey, I'm not surprised. Yes, it's made me feel quite hoarse. I think I'll have a go. Have one? Yes, made me hoarse listening to you. Mm. I'll have a black currant. <laughs> Well, what's the matter? They're very nice. Don't you like them? No! I always put them back. Yeah. Devil's cave below? Below what? Below the cliff. Cave below the cliff? I've never seen the cave. Ah, that's high water. It's covered up. You never look when the tide's out. I've been there hundreds of times. Oh, what for? Smuggling. So, what? <laughs> well, you come of a nice family, don't you? Well, come on. The tide's low now. If we hurry, it might catch a smuggler's red-handed. Oh, no, you won't. They'd never find the channel. Oh, why not? Because the light they used to steer by doesn't hang there anymore. <laughs> oh, that's what you think. <laughs> yeah, well, kiss your daddy goodnight and we'll go. Here, yeah, don't hurry away. Stop and have a cup of tea. Ma? 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 Hey, you don't want to tell me you've got a mother? Has he? No, oh, that's his wife. He married again at 96. Oh, I see. Calf love, eh? Yes, well, uh, <coughs> go on. We haven't any time for tea. Ain't you going to see the old lady? <laughs> not likely. I'll stand for Adam, but I'm blown if I'll stand for Eve. Good night, Daddy. Come on. Hurry up. Get him in. The tide will be in in half an hour. seen this place before. Well, it's time I've been this far. Well, that's a nice admission to make. This is part of your beat. Oops. Go on, get your boots off. What, go paddling in November? <laughs> Not me. Hey, do you realise this is your superior officer talking? Yeah, talking a lot of bilge. Well, listen, you can go in with your boots on or your boots off, but you're going in anyway. Heartless, that's what you are. We can catch our get the coal. It's full of it. 
stations on the highest point round here. I'll bet that's where that light was. Tell Jones the radio door, Mr. Police, immediately. Right. Johnson. Uh, Lower the starboard boat. Hello. I say, uh, don't you think we'd better turn back now? It's getting a bit deep here, you know. Deep? What do you mean, deep? Your feet are still touching the bottom, aren't they? Yeah, it's all right for you. You're taller than me. Well, hang on to our space and stop moaning. You better keep your chins up here. It dips a bit. It's cold. Well, our bottle stopped moaning. How is he? Oh, it's all right. He's hanging on to my waist. Oh, good. That's it. Hey, he's underwater. Get him up out of that. Hey, what are you doing down there, you chump? Oh, oh that's probably about five gallons of water. Oh, oh, it's a pity he didn't swallow some more. You'd have made it shallower. Well, climb on his shoulders. Go on. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. Don't push me under. Up you go. Now, you carry... What's the matter? What's the matter? Shrimp. Shrimp? Oh, well, you carry this lamp. That'll, that'll give you something to do. All right. Now, now, follow me. Oh. It's patrol boat D6, sir, reporting smuggling in Devil's Cave. Well, why don't they get in touch with the local police station? Sounds incredible, sir. They think the local police are working in with the smugglers. What? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Where is Devil's Cave? The low turn bottom round, sir. Turn bottom round? Why, that... Oh, I might have known. Call out the squad car. Yes, sir. Tell me to have some men down there right away. Oh, oh. oh come on, hurry up. How can I hurry up with the old man of the sea on me back? Well, that's funny. Ooh, I'll tell you. What? We'll hush it up, 
Fill the stuff and teach him a lesson. Eh? What, get ten years? Oh, no fear, we're going to phone the chief constable. Same kind of cigarettes as our clue does. So it seems. Yes. Well, that's very lucky. You may be able to help us. You think I might? Yes. I say this. Um, this is going to come as a shock to you, but uh, there's smuggling going on around here. I know. What? You mean you know who it is? Yes. It's me. You? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. And I'd advise you once again to keep your nose out of it. It'll be healthier for you. Healthier? Oh. Well, you, you, you mean that all this is. Uh, for Oh dear. What an itch. Yeah. Hello, yes? Yeah. That's the Chief Constable. I wouldn't answer if I were you. I don't forget that the contraband is stored in your own cellar and that the light was hung on top of your own police station. Oh. I see his point. Yes, well, I don't. It's against the law and I put my hands to the plow and... And the what? Oh, well, I've taken them off again. Here, that's our evidence. Shut up. Hello. Have them. Chief, the lorry's waiting in the Bible office. Right, then go and tell them we start loading at once. Come on, come on! Get the handcuffs out! Clever, boys!
run any faster. He nearly pulled him my arm off. How about it touching the ground? Now, man. Well, when you do touch the ground, jump farther. Why don't you jump on the running board? Well, jump on the bracket. Never thought of that. Oh, just in time, sir. There's a tunnel leading from the sea right into the cellar here, sir, and it's packed with contraband. Find out if Dud puts on the premises. Yes, sir. Let's have a look at this. Yes, sir. Hey, pull up, pull up, pull up. There they are. Cool, look. Well, this looks like the last trip, sir. There's your headless horseman for you. Shall we fill in the hole, sir? No, don't bother. Tip the hearse from the quarry and scatter. Right. I'll get in touch with you boys later from London. in the bank. Well, hop out and get it. Go on. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. Shh. What's that noise? It's the radio. I turned it on. May as well have a bit of music. Yeah. Music? I mean, I think we've got enough on our minds without having to listen to that rubbish. Right. Oh, steady on. Now you made me spill it. Well, why don't you use a funnel? I haven't got a funnel. Well, use a bit of imagination. Here. Yeah. Hey, I'll use that. Then. Right. That's it. Calling all police patrols. Who said that? Hey, that's a police message. Keep watch for and stop Black Morris Tourer number FN 8429. Believe travelling towards London. Oh, London Road. That's this road. Yeah. Hey, if we keep our eyes open, we might catch them as well, eh? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I will repeat that. Car number FN8429. You get that number? Got it. <laughs> We've had it all the time. Hey. Look. Yeah. Oh. Well, I wonder what they want us for. Probably they've heard about old Joe's grandmother. The car is driven by three wanted police. Wait. Their arrest is essential. Oh, dear. I will repeat that. Oh, uh, don't bother. We heard you the first time. I did, innit? Get out of the way. <laughs> hey, we can't use this car. Because they know it, you see, so we shove it down the side road, then get a lift from somebody. Go on, yeah. what's all right? Go on, off you go. Go on, I'll steer it. Go on. Shove us! Hey, look. There's nothing coming. Well, let's stop it. Give me my helmet. Hey, Go on, quick. Hey, uh, what have you got in that tin? Only milk, sir. Yeah. Milk? Oh, this time of the morning? I will deliver it this time, sir. Oh, well, it looks highly suspicious to me. And to me. Me too. Hey, sir, uh, where's your milk book? My what, sir? Your milk book? You know, the book you put your milk in. I haven't got one, sir. Yeah. Oh! He hasn't got a milk book. Well, you can't go down the country milking without a milk book. You go and get one immediately. Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, leave your bicycle where it is. We'll look after that. Well, off you go and run all the way.
knock off this thing. Yeah, you can't go about knocking off people's property. Besides, uh, there may be somebody in it. All right. Well, get in there. What are you arguing about? Go on. The best company about this. They never stop at the old race places. They queue up and then run like crazy. I do. 
Stop. No. Turn left. to a shop window. Well, this is the fellow that came and backed us up and said it was an accident. So you admit it, you blackguard. Yes, but uh, look what we've done since. Caught the smugglers and everything. Arrest a lot of them. Hey, wait a minute. Tell me the chance, are we? You, you gotta... Well, hold. Hey. 